Sri Lanka Long Range Reconnaissance Patrol, also known as LERP. Let's go. In a remote forest in Sri Lanka, Special Forces soldiers battle it out to join an even more elite unit. The Long Range Patrol, or LERP. Looking forward to this one, guys. Apparently, it's some intense, intense training. Become alert operative. They must undergo one of the world's toughest training courses. With exclusive access to this once secret unit, we reveal their grueling three week selection course. That will break all but the best. Special Forces, Sri Lanka LRP. Sri Lanka's LERP operatives are famous for like, taking down like high-level enemy targets during the country's two and a half decade long civil war. We managed to utilize some of their very top leaders. Of course, it had a huge impact. A black op unit that sacrifices manpower for stealth. Long range patrols gather intelligence and carry out sabotage operation deep behind enemy lines where discovery could mean death. Sneaky. This elite unit was born from a 25-year civil war. In 1975, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam launched a violent campaign against the Sri Lankan government, demanding independence in northern and eastern parts of the country. Post 9-11, the FBI classified the Tigers as one of the most dangerous terrorist groups in the world. Conventional forces were unable to reach Tamil Tiger strongholds hidden in remote jungle terrain. One thing I really find interesting is um, whenever I watch a documentary about a different military, you know, a different military unit, you know, whether they're reconnaissance or whatever they are, recons, um, they always seem to be formed out of some sort of a small arms conflict war. For instance, uh, the Philippine Scout Rangers, you know, they're fighting terrorism over there for years and years against the first it started off against the communists, I believe. Um, but yeah, as I just said, all these little, um, you know, groups of militaries seem to be formed due to terrorism, which is quite interesting, really. We were going into jungles with uh, large forces, like 25, 30 people. Most of the time, we used to lose surprise. Smaller teams were needed skilled in unconventional jungle warfare. In 1996, 20 volunteers formed the first LERP team, a top secret unit trained to infiltrate enemy lines and survive in complete isolation. <laughs> Until the end of the war in 2009, the existence of this unit was kept under wraps and the identities of LERP members a secret. Today in peacetime, there are fewer than 200 LERP operatives, a small elite club. To gain access, recruits will have to go through six months of advanced training. Okay, so obviously, Going for the training six months, so we're gonna. I'm guessing in this documentary, we're gonna see a lot of their training, you know, small clips of it. But just to get there, they first have to survive three weeks of hell. So 
Selection Phase Day 1, Sri Lanka's Special Forces Training School, Maduru Oya National Park. 207 volunteers are undergoing their first PT test, a grueling series of cardio and strength exercises to stress the whole body. These men are already part of the Sri Lankan Special Forces. Okay. Okay, so something I didn't know, um, obviously everyone who was taking part in this selection course to become a LERP, you have to be already a Special Forces operative. But qualifying to become a LERP will take a whole new level of mental and physical stamina. At 35, Recruit 8 is the oldest in the course. A team of instructors watch over their every move, looking to weed out the weakest. I don't know how they can be weak if they're already special forces operatives, you know. How, how, why would they be weak? 26-year-old Recruit 52 is already struggling. He's failed the first PT test for gripping the rope with his legs. Recruit 52 will be forced to retest in another week. If he fails again, he's out of the course. The men are only at the beginning of the physical part of the selection phase. Next, they must carry 65 kilogram logs for four kilometers, with an extra body weight hanging off. Jesus! <laughs> it's not just a physical stress on their shoulders and legs. These repetitive drills are designed to test their mental strength. Veteran Lurps know exactly what kind of soldier it takes to join the team. Some of these men's identities must remain hidden. We are looking for... It'd be interesting to see the actual pass rate if there's only 200 currently serving in the Lurp, you know, battalion or whatever they are, you know, unit, Lurp unit. It'd be interesting to actually see how many you know, actually pass the course because if their numbers are limited and say, you, I don't know, throwing numbers out there, you've got 100 people trying to apply it. Surely there can't be more than two, three maybe passing the course. We'll see at the end, hopefully. Physically fit, mentally robust, highly motivated, highly dedicated members. These are not ordinary uh, soldiers following the course. There are some extraordinary characters who wants to be the best of the best. Our training session was very strenuous, so you find that if they don't have endurance, if they are not, they don't have determination, courage, they drop out. A highly secretive organization, they do not even have their own unit crest. Becoming an LRP member is a pride, honor in the special forces. Without insignia, without any benefit, without any motto, we don't go for publicity, we don't go for credits. Oh, I like that. The next challenge no one is looking forward to. The recruit... Like you just said, I, I really do like that. They don't have no motto, they have no logo, they have got no... No, they're basically in the shadows. Loving it, loving it. ...to have 48 hours to march 50 kilometers. 50 To kilometers. slow them down, their packs are filled with 30 pounds of sand. To slow them down even more, they must navigate day and night through some of Sri Lanka's most inhospitable terrain. Of the 201 men left, over 10% will not make it. The 40 degree temperature will beat these soldiers down. But there's another hidden danger unique to these jungles that the recruits have to watch out for. 
ಮಾದುರೆಯ ಪ್ರದೇಶೇ ಎತ್ತರ ಅಲಿ ಗಹಣ ಇನ್ನು ಹೇತು ತಮ್ಮ ಇದೆ ಎತ್ತರ ಅಲಿ ಎತ್ತಿನ್ನೆ ನಿವೇಶನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾ ಇನ್ನೆ ಯಾ ಇನ್ನು ಗೊಟ್ಟೆ ಅಪೇ ಯಾನ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೌರಾರಿ ಮೋಕಾರಿ ಸದ್ಯ ಕಾರಿ ಮೋಕಾರಿ ದೆಮ್ಮೋ ಈ ಸದ್ಯ ತಮ್ಮ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ಕರ್ನೋ ಯಾ ಈ ಅಲರ್ಟ್ ಏನ ಕಳವಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಇನ್ನು ಅಲಿಯ ಕೊಮ ತಬಿ ಡೋಡ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ನಿ ಕೊಮ ತಲಿಯ ಕಿಟ್ಟು ಏನೋ ನೀ ಇಮಾಜಿನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆನ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಯು ಆನ್ ಯು ಯು ನೋ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಾಕ್ ಫ್ರೂ ಅ ಬುಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬೈ ಅನ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸೋಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಎಂ ಐ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಐ ಕೇಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಡಿಡಂಟ್ ಡೇರ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸೋಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಮಾಸಿವ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ದಟ್ ರೂನಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯು ಏಕಟೆ ದಿನ ಅರೆ ಅಪಿ ದಿಲೆ ದಿನ ಬ್ಲಾಂಕ್ ಸೋಲಿಂಗ್ ಫೈರ್ ಕರನ ತಮೈ ತೀನ ಏಕಮ ಯಾಡ ದಿನ ಏಕಮ ಅವಸ್ಥಾ ಯಾಡ ದೂಳ ಬೇರೆ ಎಂಡ ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಲೋಕು ಜಂಗಲ್ ಲಿಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ಡ್ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಲಿನ್ ಉದ್ದೇತನ ಅಲಿ ಯಾರ ಮಾಚೆ ಅಬೇ ಅತೆನೆ ಇತ್ತಲಿ ಲಿಕ್ ಏಮ ಕೆಲ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬಿ ಆರಕ್ಷ ಅತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೊಂದ್ರೆ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ ಮಂ ಪೆತ್ತ ಕಟ್ರ ಮಗೆ ಪಾಡಿ ಮಂ ಗಮನ ಕರ ಗನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ 6 ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ದಿ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ but recruit 8 is beginning to struggle oh goda baadu ke thino eight amathara usnatte tadi adawasin mage goda tuwala thino ka kullala in passe mage tuwala walta podda aaye class rack gahagena pay deka thuna metana indala ite pasta man mage point e cover karana mai yanne this is not his first time on the course mage kasarayak me unata passe den aayasarayak man hari aasa meekata e hinda man kohoma hari balanne meken jaya grahane karana ಏಕದಾ ಮಗೆ ಇಕಮ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಮಮ ಲವ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಕರಂಡಾವ ಕರಂಡಾವಡ ಪಾಸೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸೆ ಮಂ ಕೋಸೆ ಕರೈ ಅನಕೋಟ ಅಮ್ಮ ಇಕ್ ತೆಂಗು ನಾ ಮಾತ್ ಅಮ್ಮ ಲಂಗ ನಿತ್ರ ಮೇ ಇಂದೋನ ಅವಶ್ಯ ನಿಸ ಮಂ ಕೋಸೆ ಕಿಂ ಐಂಗು ನಾ ದೆಂಗ ಅಮ್ಮ ಜೀವಿತ ನತ್ರನೆ ದೆಂಗ ದೆನಟ ಅಮ್ಮ ದೆಂಗ ದೆಂಗ ಮಂ ಆಯಾಗ ಮಗೆ ದೆಂಗ ಅಮ್ಮ ತಾತ ಮಟ ದಿನ್ನ ಮನೆ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸೆ ಮನ್ ದೆಂಗ ಹಿತ ಹೈಯಿ ಮ ಹಿತ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಕರಗನ ಮನ್ ದೆನ್ ನವತ ಕೋಸೆ ಕರನ್ ಏಕೈ Recruit 8 has 30 kilometers left to go. Despite his determination, his decision to rest may cost him. Another recruit has just run into some big trouble. 201 recruits are fighting to become part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol. They are nearing the end of a brutal 50 km march. Excessive heat, rugged terrain and 50 pound packs are slowing the recruits down. But one recruit has just faced an even bigger obstacle. Instructors have just been given the alert. A recruit has been attacked by an elephant. They need to evacuate him immediately. Aliya, we petin degala din. Aliya piti pasin ta meya gihila tiyenne. Aliya piti pasin enoda sadyak meya gohari sadyak wenne thi adi para mukka sadyak wenne ari aliya haruna dakka id pase pack ekata thamai gahala tiyenne. The medical team is checking for any broken bones or internal injuries. Recruit 129 has a small fracture in his arm. He's lucky. Elephant attacks can be deadly. Very lucky. He survived the attack but not the corpse. Ettarama me samane aliye ka ettarama asthiya gada wage wedila tibbutte meya ettarama continue karanna beri wena course ekak. Time is nearly up for the 50 km march. recruits are rushing to make it to the finish line guys just imagine 50 kilometers in the heat honestly um i'm not surprised that the majority of people go man down due to heat exhaustion maybe heat stroke who knows you know but surely i don't really know you know i've seen the philippine scout rangers and their training is brutal and this doesn't look any easier Come on number 8. Despite Recruit 8's decision to rest during the march and an injured foot, 
the oldest candidate in the course has just managed to complete it on time. Nice. <laughs> At the training grounds, recruits are gathering for a post-march inspection. Jungle discipline. But it's not the most serious offense committed today. A recruit has been caught throwing away sand from his pack. It's an immediate dismissal from the course. They're doing it in front of everyone else, which is a little bit embarrassing for the individual who's cheated. Recruit numbers are dropping quickly. <laughs> Twenty-seven other recruits have failed the march. Like I said already, I don't understand how these people are failing. They're already special forces, you know, operators. Surely they must be used to marching with heavy weight through the jungle for X amount of miles. <laughs> The 174 who remain are exhausted and hungry. They think they're about to enjoy their first real meal in 48 hours. <laughs> Two minutes. Go. <laughs> wow. Whoa, this is brutal. Now they've just eaten loads of food for two minutes. I bet they get flashed on PT now and they're going to be puking up all over the place. Some men smuggled out apples. Punishments. The punishments are used to build teamwork. One mistake from one man means everyone suffers. Teamwork. In a combat situation, that rule is deadly serious. Lerps can penetrate hundreds of kilometers through difficult and hostile terrain. But when missions call for speed, Sri Lanka's special forces have faster ways of getting around. Nice. The Combat Rider Squadron are part of Sri Lanka's Special Forces 1st Regiment, deployed on missions where speed and access are key. Oh, that's that's incredible. From AK-47 assault rifles. <laughs> right, okay, I've never seen this type of training before. This is incredible. So you've got the passenger on the, on the back holding the steering wheel, driving, while the other one, the front passenger, well, the front driver, 
Schultz rifle is <laughs> is mental. To rocket propelled grenade. This is crazy. <laughs> Back at the selection course, instructors are upping the pace. 174 survivors have to sprint five and a half kilometers through the reserve's rugged landscape. Their toughest hurdles will be racing up a 315 meter high rock face. They have just 36 minutes to complete the course. In this heat, 36 minutes, five miles in this heat. I don't think there's a lot of people that are going to pass this, but we'll see. Dehydration can occur quickly and calf muscles start to cramp. Coming down slopes like this, puts an extra strain on their knees. A simple wrong footing, and the course could end right here. Once at the base of the cliff, it's a race to finish. All the recruits have reached the end. But Recruit 199 is showing early stages of heat stroke. If he's not treated immediately, it could be life-threatening. He has lost fluids and his body temperature has risen. If they can't control his temperature and get fluids in him fast, he could go into shock and die. He isn't the only one suffering. Recruit 2 has a lower limb injury that's threatening his performance. Recruit 2 is a veteran Special Forces soldier who was shot during the war. That's some serious determination to get something done what you really got your heart set on. Impressive. And to think that the majority of people can't even be bothered to make the bed on a morning after getting up. <laughs> it's the end of week one. 33 men haven't made the grade. And for the 174 that remain, things are about to get even tougher. This course only wants the best. In a battle situation, these men could be faced with some deadly choices. 174 recruits are fighting to become a part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol. These special forces soldiers are pushed to their limits here because when things go wrong behind enemy lines, a wrong decision can cost everyone their lives. In July 2008, six LERP operatives were on a top secret mission, 55 kilometers deep in Tamil Tiger territory. Their objective, to ambush a high level enemy target. <laughs> The team withdraw into the jungle, but they know they need to get back to headquarters fast. Being found this far behind enemy lines would be disastrous.
මීට 10ක් 15ත් අතර වගේ මාර්ගයේ අතරතුරදී දැඩි ප්‍රහාරයකට ලක් වුණා අපි. Their point man gets hit in the leg. But when the team commander tries to reach him, he too is shot. බස්සට තුවාල කරුවන් ගත්තා. ඒ අවස්ථාවේදී එක් සමාජික එක්මිය ගිහලා තිබ්බා. ඇත්තටම අපි මගේ සහෝදරෙක් ඇතුනහ සමාන දෙයක් අපිට ඇති වුණේ. ඒ ගැනගත්ත මේ පැත්තට අනිවාර්යෙන් මේ ට්‍රැක් කරන් අපි 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 විරස වෙනවා කියලා සතුරු. අපි විරස කරේ අපි ගියපු ගමන් මගෙන් අපි පැත්තට ඇහැලා මීට 50ක් විතර ගිහලා අපි තුවාල කරුවන් තුන් දෙනා සංගවලා वाला वाले तो कौन थे ना क्या वाला संपूर्ण खोला नहीं बिल को लाइन कर ला ये वाला तुम देना इतना इतना निधि करा वाला वहाँ लती बुने सामने जाने इलिया तो पहनी नहीं काटा बेलो तो unable to carry the injured 55 kilometers back to their own lines they had to come up with an escape plan fast the second in command heads back through enemy territory to get help while his team hides in the jungle එයා සුවචා මේ දිරපත් වුණා මම ගිහිල්ලා ඔගුල්ලෝ ගැන කඳරුට කියනවා කියලා ඉවරලා ඔගුල්ලෝ බේර ගන්න පුළුවන් උපරිම ශක්තිය යොදනවා කියලා දවස් දෙක විතර වෙනව වතුර යෝරුණා මගේ මම මගේ මුත්‍රා පානය කරා ඊට පස්සේ මුත්‍රා තම අපි ඊගාවට පානය කරන්න පටන් ගත්තේ For four days they would wait not knowing if they were going to be rescued ඇත්ත මේ වෙලාවේ එංකට මේ වගේ එකක් දැනුණා बोंडून After two days, he reached headquarters. A rescue team was sent in two helicopters. This footage was captured by the special forces team. One lands at a secure site to evacuate the four wounded men. They are not safe yet. On the way back, they come under enemy gunfire. Oh, yeah. The helicopters release flares as a countermeasure. They reach the Air Force base and hospital. Can I pay for one day? හැකියාවන් ඉගෙන ගන්න දේවල් අනුව තමයි මේ හැම දෙයක්ම ලබාගෙන කියන කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැතුව අපි දරගෙනම ගන්න පුළුවන්. A total of 685 special forces personnel were killed during the civil war. Lerp recruit 2 knows the horror of war too well. සිදර විටම මිය ගියා ඒ හිටියා වෙඩි වැදලා බිම්බෝම්බ වලට අසු වෙනවා දැක්කා ඒ වෙලාවේ මතක් වෙනවා ලොකු වේදනාවක් නිතර මතක් වෙද්දී When LERP operatives penetrate deep behind enemy lines to gather intelligence or ambush a target it can take days or weeks The recruits are in the middle of a stalking exercise They need to crawl 450 meters to an enemy camp and eliminate a hostile target unseen. To do that, they have to cross three defense lines secured with barbed wire. They have 4 hours to complete the exercise. Api hoyanne man kalin ki wagema dara gena misa ivasin thamai bhoomita anuwa oya anuwartana wenawada ंग्रास 
శారీరక ధరగాన్ని పుడు శారీరక Right, they're in the middle of part of the selection, stalking. <laughs> Surely the the instructors, the DS staff, will see the cameraman there and the camera. So I don't know how they work around that. Interesting, though. <laughs> Again, the kit and equipment, very basic. Uh, I've not really commented on that too much. I thought I'll comment on it now while they're crawling about. The boots are like very like, you know, obviously it gets the job done, but it's probably not the best kit and equipment. Yes, the way it looks like they're going to be really good soldiers or they're already really good soldiers because they're in the special forces. But obviously they don't have the best kit. <laughs> This exercise is testing whether leaders will take the most efficient way possible without rushing to the finish line. අපි දැන් මේකෙදි විශේෂයෙන්ම බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ සතුරාගේ නිරීක්ෂණයෙන් මිදෙන්න. ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් සතුරු කඳවුරක් ආසන්නයේදී තමයි ස්ටොකින් එකක් අපි කරන්නේ. එක්සර්සයිස් එකේ කරන්න පුළුවන් වැරදි තමයි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට එයාලට කියලා දීලා තියෙන මූමන්ට් වලින් බැහැරව. ඒ කියන්නේ මහන්සි වෙනකොට සමහරත් තැන් වල තියෙන බඩ ගාගෙන යන්න. එතකොට ඒ තැන් වලදී මේකට නැකිටල යනවා. Sri Lanka's long range patrol have mastered the art of invisibility. Wow. <laughs> එන කාලගුණ හා දේශගුණය අනුව එක් එක් ප්‍රදේශ තියෙනවා ඒ ප්‍රදේශවල කොයි විදිය භූමි ප්‍රදේශ භූමියක් ද නිර්මාණය වෙලා තියෙන්න කියලා බලන්න ඕන අපි why have some people if anyone knows this why do some people have a gilly suit on and others don't ඊට පස්සේ අපි පෙර කර කියන්නේ තත් එක්ක ඒ භූමිය සම්පූර්ණ සංසන්දනය කරලා බලලා තියෙන්නේ ඒ අනුව අපි ඇතුලේදී ඒ දේවල් නිර්මාණය කරනවා මේ යාමට පෙර Originally developed by Scottish gamekeepers, the best ghillie suits are handmade. Meter 25th, itara tarang awasana taakat ekak dakwa yame hekiyawat thiyena me wage rupom meke. Three hours into the stalking exercise, Recruit 52's team has made it to within 150 meters of their target. Anna team ekak thiyena anna eka. Go 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 go. His front men have been spotted. අපි කලින් ආපු ඒ කියන්නේ කාලගුණ තත්ත්වේ වගේ නේ දැන් රස්නේ වැඩි ඊට පස්සේ මාංශය වැඩි ටීම් එකටම ඉතින් නැවතත් ලයින් එක ක්‍රොස් කරන්න ගොඩක් මාංශ වෙන්න ඕන ටීම් එකට ඉට්ස් දි එන්ඩ් විත් 1 මිනිට් ටු ස්පෙර් එතන සතුරේ මොකද ටීම් එකේම අට දෙනාක මේ අට දෙනාම එකතු වෙලා තමයි මේ කැනි තේ කරේ ස්ට් In teams, they must carry the stretcher through 4 kilometers of dense jungle in just 40 minutes. It's a team building exercise with real life implications. We may make a test karna kandaya mithi kandaya hangiyim. Ah ee tamatarawa naayakat. Ee mokada naayakek inno na hamathissa meya thamai issara hangiyilla team eka kalaave leesima thanakin gaman karanna oya thamai maga penna. Recruit 5 is in charge of this team. Kattu gassana manan thiyena hinda godak kamaru yanne I wouldn't know how the casualties feeling getting cut for 4 4 kilometers while his teammates 
you know, are carrying him. Recruit five in his team have come in on 36 minutes. Terima operation ni kerana team work kita mah team work kita ini terang terang operation ni ke sah tegak tu ini. Tani mah kalau dapat tu dia kerana team ini kita ini kemudah bagian utama yudhya pardi na atau dina na di kini ke terni. There is only a moment of respite for the recruits after the stretcher run. They've just had a lesson in teamwork, but now they have to fight each other. They want men who really want to join this unit and will do anything to get there. This will take their last ounce of energy wow. before their final PT test. The 174 recruits that remain now face a succession of cardio, strength, and endurance tests that will push them to the limit. You know they're doing that much running and exercises and that. I'm 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 very surprised that not more people are going man down with heat exhaustion. They have to pass them, or they are out of the selection course. Recruit 52 has failed two of the three attempts at the PT test. Today is his last chance to pass. With an injury on his hand. The rope climb will be his toughest challenge. He has to make it to the halfway mark to pass, but he cannot use his legs to pull himself up. Recruit 52 has climbed just high enough to pass the test. The 164 recruits that remain have been put through extreme physical stress, but now their mental strength will be tested. Instructors are about to assess their analytical skills. Recruits have one minute to observe various objects in a room and determine the kind of person that lives there. Very interesting. I've never seen this in any of the videos I've ever reacted to or watched in the past. I've never ever seen this type of training before. Very interesting. You know, like I said, I've never seen it before in any other video, but checking to see the recruits and keeping, you know, memory, uh, you know, remembering what's inside the room and that. Cool. How they perform now will weigh heavily on whether they get selected. Recruit 2's disappointing report will affect his overall assessment at the end of the selection course.
පළවෙනිදේ ලැබිච්ච කාලය පොඩ්ඩක් සීමිතයි පොඩි පොඩි තැන් වලට හිත යොමු කරන්න බැරි වුණා ඒ නිසා කරුණු අඩු වශයෙන් තමයි කියාගන්න පුළුවන් වුණේ මට කම්පියුටර් එකක් තියෙනවා මට මං ක්ෂණිකව ඒක තියෙන දේවල් නිරීක්ෂණය කරලා ඒකේ මොකද්ද කියලා බලලා මට ඒක ඇවිල්ලා එලියට ඇවිල්ලා මට කියන්න තියෙනවා ियाकारकमेंटाइसो उंड some sort of a group gathering well i've noticed in, in that room straight away there's a smoker there were a few fags in the ashtray what might indicate that it's one person or or more that smoke four used glasses one bottle uh, a chihuahua or whatever his name is poster a communist poster um yeah that's what i gathered from that room i don't know about you guys but to me that guy just basically said exactly what's going on in there the recruits seem to have underestimated the difficulty of the exercise and it may have cost them kaliya manage karagana therinne ayalata prashnayak dunnata passe eka gana ekama de gana hita 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 inno thawa dewal eya oluwata ganne na etohase monohar deyak hoyeno misak ara thina dewal peralala karala balla monohar deyak ganne na he eyalage manasata eya avilla kene samajwadi pudgale kaamara etro hatara dene kindala thiyena poster beda harala thiyena ඊටවසි මද්ද්‍රව්‍ය පානය කළ තියෙන ඔයා හොඳ බුද්ධිමත් එකන ඔයා බුද්ධිමත් පොත් කියවන කෙනෙක් සමාජවාදී අදහස් වලින් ඔබ්බට ගිය පුද්ගලෙක් ඒ ටික තමයි බලාපොරොත්තු For nearly 3 weeks recruits have had an average of 2 hours of sleep a day Wow but even tonight the instructors show no mercy Recruits are told to carry their bunk beds to the training grounds. Oh god. If the instructors are unhappy with the results, the recruits are punished. It seems like a futile exercise, but it's all part of a plan to completely exhaust the recruits before the biggest test of the selection course. මේක අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම විෂයක් කරලා මේක පාස් වෙන්න ඕන අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම LRP සොල්දාද කියන එක. එතකොට මේ කට්ටියගේ මානසික ඊට පස්සේ කායික සියලුම දේවල් පීඩාවට පහත්ම පත්තමකට ඩාලි වෙලා තමයි අපි මේ කිලෝමීටර් 100 මාත්‍රික ඩාල. So basically they're doing this just to fin out the numbers even more. It's mental. Some like recruit 52 are in agony. Recruits fighting for a spot on Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol are in week 3 of the toughest selection course of their lives. Day 17 of 21. Recruits are about to start the toughest challenge of the selection course. A 100 km navigation march that they have to complete. in 72 hours. Omega tamai amaru maachaka yanne meka den godak me katte godak week vela inne manasikawa saha sharirika dekenma palleha mattamata vetla diinne meka tamai amaru maachaka me katte ida diinne. In pairs, recruits will have to navigate their way to 18 checkpoints. But with no rest the night before, they are all marching on empty. 
close to 20% will not make it. Jabu kisi dura pramana kya nohat? Ekin ekar motivate karagam. Samara kawatthaavadi tamangi hita khada agne tin kawatthaavadi anika outa support kalla idhiye re ganiyan ne udawak. Recruit 52 has managed to survive this far despite a leg and a wrist injury. Kakuli abad tieno thama. Surely if he's injured that will play a role whether you pass the course or not but we'll see at the end I hope Recruit 5 is feeling his injuries too I'm going to play 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 but bad news for recruit two, the veteran special forces soldier wounded in the war. Mitik dulu tu kerja ni apa? Sielu mac kerja kerja macam bagi upering kerja, hemeh kerja macam asamat ni tu, hemeh lakunu tienno, hemeh kerja macam pas peradi ni, lakunu tatkianu balanu ni diri. Recruit two can now only sit and wait for the decision of the instructors. Surely not. If this is the last test, hundred kilometer march, surely you have to pass this to become an LRP. Surely. I don't think, well, we'll see, but I don't personally think that it's past, you know, scores per event matter in this event, if that makes sense. You know, we'll see it at the end. It's 72 hours into the 100 kilometer march, and the first recruits are crossing the finish line. So far, 29 recruits haven't made it on time, including recruit two and recruit 52. But ultimately, it's up to the instructors to decide who stays and who goes. They are close to the end, but it's not quite over yet. I, I can't see the instructors pass the guy with the injured leg. I just can't see it happening because if he's out on the, you know, during a real operation and he's got problems with his leg, obviously he's, he becomes a hindrance. So can't see it happening. 164 recruits are on their last day of selection. They have one final test. The confidence jump. Recruits have to climb an 80-foot ladder. The equivalent of an eight-story building. I'd shit myself. Go on, bend it. At the top, they need to do pull-ups and let go. It's called the confidence jump for good reason. Landing in the water the wrong way could lead to drowning. A safety diver is on standby. Wow. After three weeks of non-stop training, 
recruits have to summon their courage one last time. मम्मी एक करा दी लेटर के दी उड़ना की दी लेटर के लिस्सन वाले देंगे सर का काटी गेप हिंदा लेटर के तीन ली हर हाथी के तीन ना डी तीन हमारू ये हिंदा जिका हमारू उड़ना की One hundred sixty four recruits have reached the end of the selection course for the Sri Lankan long range patrol. They're about to find out who's made the cut. Ekasiya, 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 I'm glad he passed the course after the story he told us about his parents passing away. Recruit 5. Recruit 169. And Recruit 8 are among the 122 recruits who have passed the selection course. I am a member of the selection the oldest guy passed the course, 35 years old. But 85 are left disappointed. Those who made it have more than five months of intense advanced skills training ahead to become part of the elite LERP team. But the past three weeks have prepared them for the rest of their careers. They have made it to Sri Lanka's most elite special forces unit. <laughs> Guys, um, really enjoyed this. Probably one of the... Well, I watched a while ago, I watched Philippine Scout Rangers and their training is just as mental, as gruel as this. Obviously, you're only going to see so many bits and bops, you know, from the entire 21 days. Uh, they're not allowed to show everything, but from what we've seen, you know, their training to become a LERP it's just crazy, honestly. The, 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 you've just seen how few actually pass. I thought it was actually going to be only about two or three people out of the whole lot that were going to pass this. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of the LERP. I'm very impressed from what I've seen. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you do or did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.